Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So today we will see one more operation on disjoint sets that is a collapsing find. Collapsing find. So in our previous session we have seen what is a disjoint set and what are the operations that can be performed on the disjoint sets. So in that we have seen the three operations that is a simple union, simple find and a weighted union. And the fourth operation is the collapsing find. So before going to the collapsing find, let us know about the simple find. So if the disjoint set in this format, So if our tree structure is in this form, in this format, right? And if you want to find 70, so we know that in disjoint set, if you if you are performing the find operation of any particular element, if it is available in the set, it will return the set representative, which we call it as a root node. So the find of 70 will be the root node of this set 10. Similarly, if you find, if you apply the find of 40, then also it will return 10. And if you apply find of 50, then also it will return 10. That means the find operation will return the set representative, which is a root node. Now, what we have done in the simple find, so simple find, simple find of i, what we have done? So we are checking the parent node is greater than 0 or not. So we are checking the parent node, the parent of i is greater than 0. If else, if yes, it is greater than 0, that implies i is equal to parent of i. Because in the disjoint set, in the disjoint set, so the parent node of a root Okay, the parent node of a root will always be a negative value. Either it can be minus 1 if it is a simple union operation and it will be the total number of elements of a set if it is a weighted union. But it is a negative value. But it is a negative value. So that means we are always checking that the parent of i is greater than 0. If it is greater than 0, that implies that is an intermediate node. That is not a root node. So we are just iterating everything until the condition becomes false. That means until the P of i greater than 0 is false, it becomes negative. Then we can say that the root node, it reaches to the root node. For example, uh, find this one for this simple find. So find of 70. So what we have to do? So P of 70 greater than 0. That implies what is the parent of 70? So I'll write here the values. So 10, 20. 30, 40, 50, 60, and 70. So these are the values, and these are the i, and this is a parent of i. So what's the parent of 10, which is a root node, so which will be minus 1. Parent of 20, it is 10. Parent of 30, it is again 10. Parent of 40, it is 30. Parent of 50, it is 10. Parent of 60, it is 50. Parent of 70, it is 60. So this is the table of the complete elements and corresponding parents. Corresponding parents, right? Now, parent of 70, parent of 70 is 60. So 60 greater than 0, 60 greater than 0. It is true. Then i becomes parent of 70, which is 60. Again, now find of 60, find of 60. So parent of 60, greater than 0. What is the parent of 60? It is 50. So 50 greater than 0. True. Then i becomes a parent of 50, 60. So which is 50. Now becomes 50. i becomes 50. Now again find of 50. So parent of 50 greater than 0. What is the parent of 50? It is a 10. So 10 greater than 0. It is true. Now i becomes 10. Now, parent of 10 
greater than 0. So what is the parent of 10? Which is a minus 1 or minus 7. So it will be uh, minus 1 greater than 0 which is a false. So then i, I is a root node. i is a root node. It will return the i. So that we have done in the simple find algorithm. So here how many comparisons we are doing? There are three comparisons we are doing. So in order to find 70, we are finding 60, we are finding 50 and then we are finding 10. So three comparisons are being done. Okay. So for find of 70, if it is a simple find, if it is a simple find, it requires three comparisons. It requires three comparisons. For example, in our logic, if it requires to apply four times, okay, if, if it requires some four times to apply the find operation, how many comparisons? Four into three, which gives a twelve comparisons. Twelve comparisons, right? So, what is the result? Obviously, find of seventy will be ten. Find of sixty will be ten. Find of fifty will be ten. So, why not we change this tree so that seventy can be directly given as a child to ten? Similarly, whatever the intermediate nodes in this particular path, for example, this path we are having. 50 and 60. So all those nodes can be associated as a children for that particular parent. So that the number of comparisons will be reduced. So for the first find it requires a three comparisons and from the next find onwards it will require only one comparison. Because we are just collapsing this tree structure and we are giving 70 as a child to the parent 10. So directly from the next find onwards we will be having only one comparison. So, for doing such type of things, we need to change the algorithm. That means, by using this collapsing find, the name itself indicates we are collapsing the tree structure. So, what we are collapsing, we are collapsing all the intermediate nodes of that particular path and we are associating each and every node as a children to that particular root node. Because, always whatever the element we are finding, the result will be the set representative. That means only the root node. So, if you find 70, it will be root node 10. If you find 60, it will be root node 10. If you find 50, then also the result will be 10. So, that's why we are just collapsing the tree. All the intermediate nodes and we are associating them to the root node. So, for that purpose, we are just changing a small uh, algorithm. We are changing a few things in the algorithm. See, let us write the collapse you find. Collapse find. So first, let us take some root is equal to some i and find out the root element. What is the root element? Because we have to assign the root as a parent of 70, right? So why p of root is greater than 0? Simply, we can say root is equal to p of root. So this is a simple find operation. This is a simple find operation. And after that, simply check why root not equal to i, root not equal to i, then assign some, take some temporary variable, right? Some s yes is equal to p of i, the parent of node i will be assigned to s, yes, and then the root will be assigned to the parent of i. The root will be directly assigned to the root of a parent of i. And then i is equal to yes. So I assign yes to i now. Okay, recursive call. And simply after completion of this, that means whenever the root becomes i, simply return the root element. That will be the result, right? So this is the collapse you find. What we are doing? So some operations we are doing. And again, some operations we are doing so that we are collapsing all the elements in the intermediate elements of that particular path and we are assigning that to the parent. Now, we will check with this one how the tree will be collapsed, how the elements will be collapsed by using this one, right? So, let us check with this one. C find of 70. We know the result will be 10 because 10 is the root element. So what happens here? So i is 70 and root is equal to i which is 70, right? So initially 
i is equal to 70 root becomes also 70 right now p of 70 greater than 0 parent of 70 which is 60 60 greater than 0 true what happens root is equal to p of root root is equal to p of 70 okay so p of 70 is 60 now again find the operation so again go with this one parent of root parent of root is 60 now parent of root is 60 so now 70 becomes 60 here so p of root 60 greater than 0 parent of 60 is 50 so 50 greater than 0 true then what happens root is equal to parent of root root is equal to parent of root parent of 60 that's the parent of 60 50 now root becomes 50 root becomes 50 now parent of 50 greater than 0 so which is parent of 50 it is 10 10 greater than 0 true that implies root is equal to parent of root okay what is the parent of root 10 parent of 50 is 10 so root becomes 10 now so now it becomes 10 now parent of 10 greater than 0 so we know that the parent of root here 10 is a root so in this disjoint sets the parent of root will be negative value negative value parent of root will be negative value so that will be either minus 1 or the total number of elements in the set so if you are applying the simple union it will be minus 1 and if you are using the weighted union it will be the count of elements minus of count of i so it will be negative value so let it be minus 1 greater than 0 it is a false so now the root value becomes 10 so i am arranging all these things now the root becomes 10 after executing this step after this executing that particular while loop right now what we have to do we we find the root element is 10 root element is 10 so we are not returning the root because we are collapsing the intermediate elements okay so now while root not equal to 0 root not equal to i root is here 10 10 not equal to what is the i value 70 true so what we have to do you have to go with this one s is equal to p of i so p of i means parent of 70 parent of 70 is 60 so s becomes 60 and p of 70 becomes root what is the root value 10 parent of 70 becomes 10 so here i'm updating here parent of 70 becomes 10 right and then i becomes yes what is the s value 60 now i becomes 60 now what happens here this tree has been collapsed and parent of 10 it becomes 70 okay we are not stopping here so again we are collapsing the intermediate nodes of this particular path now y becomes 60 now i becomes 60 so what we have to do so again check root not equal to i so that implies root is 10 not equal to i means 60 true so we have to enter into the loop so s is equal to p of i what is the i value here i value is 60 so here 70 becomes 60 now okay now p of 60 so which is parent of 60 is 50 s is 50 now p of i p of i means here 60 parent of 60 becomes root what is the root 10 root 10 parent of 60 also becomes 10 right now the tree structure has been collapsed and 10 will be the another chain of 10 sorry 60 will be another chain of 10 and what happens here i is equal to yes so i is equal to yes means here yes is 50 now i becomes 50 now i becomes 50 okay now again root not equal to i which is nothing but root t is nothing but 10 not equal to 50 true again it will enter into the loop s is equal to p of i i means 50 what is the parent of 50 it is 10 and then parent of i i means 50 parent of 50 will be root so root means again it will be 10 so already 50 parent of 50 is 10 right 
Now, what happens? The next one, i is equal to s. That means s is here 10. So i becomes 10 here. So i becomes 10 here. Right? So now you can observe again root not equal to i. That means root is 10, not equal to 10. False. Then it will be stop and it will come here. So return root which is, is equal to 10. See which is 10. Now what happens? If you apply the same operation multiple times, that means the find operation multiple times, for example 70 and again find of 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 70, right? Now what happens? If it is simple find, it requires the three comparisons, it requires the three comparisons, it requires the three comparisons, it requires the three comparisons and it requires three comparisons. So total it requires 15 comparisons, 15 comparisons for simple find, simple find. Now if it is a collapse find, if it is a collapse find, see for first find operation, for first find operation, it requires total 3 plus 3, 6 comparisons. Okay, this is a 3 times and this is also 3 times because 3, three nodes are there. So 6 comparisons will be done and here for the next time it will be 1 comparison, it will be 1 comparison, it will be 1 comparison and it will be 1 comparison. So total 10 comparisons will be there. Total 10 comparisons will be there. Hope you understood. If it is a simple find, so we are only finding this one, right? That means so total 3 comparisons to find the root. So how many finds we are using? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So total 5 times it will go with the 3 comparisons. 5 times 15 comparisons. It requires around 15 comparisons. For example, if you implement the same thing using a collapsing find, so for the first iteration, for the first find 70, it requires 6 comparisons because this is 3 and this is also 3. Total 6 comparisons will be taken. But from the next find onwards, it requires only 1 comparison because directly 70, 10 is the parent of 70. Okay, 10 is the parent of 70. So for the next find, it will be only 1 comparison. Second find, it will be only 1 comparison. Next one, it will be one comparison and the next one, it will be only one comparison. So total 10 comparisons will be there. So automatically the complexity has been reduced. Okay, the complexity of our algorithm has been reduced. So we are also reducing, that means collapsing the tree structure. And all we are giving all the intermediate elements as a chain to the root node. Okay, so this is how we are using this collapsing find. If it is only one time we are using the find operation, then you can simply use this simple find operation. If it is more than two or three times, if your logic requires to implement the find operation two or three times more, then simply we can go with this collapsing find operation. operation. Right? So, hope you understood. So, these are all the different operations done on disjoint sets. So simple find, simple union, weighted union and collapsing find operations, right? So let's stop here and if you are having any queries regarding this procedure, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Definitely I'll try to clarify all your doubts. And if you really enjoy my session, like my session, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.